going to do kind of a remake of my other video refuting this Calvinist doctrine of limited atonement, that Jesus didn't die for everyone, that only certain only certain people can get saved and God has to choose who gets saved. This is kind of a remake, kind of a re-edit of the original video I did. Uh, I guess there's more verses I want to bring out that I didn't bring out in the other video. So let's get right into it. I got some verses I'm going to show to you proving, proving to you that all men can get saved and that there's not like this limited atonement or this thing of where God has to choose who gets saved. Uh, all men can get saved. Let me show you some verses on that. Acts chapter 17 verse 30. In the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. All men to repent? Hmm. Kind of a problem if you're a Calvinist you think that God has to choose who, who uh, gets saved and that Jesus didn't die for everyone. God commands all men to repent. Uh, first, or first Timothy two four, First Timothy chapter two, verse number four. Actually, I'll start at verse three. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come to, to the knowledge of the truth. All men. He wants all men to be saved. For my cat is in the background eating some food. Uh, first Timothy chapter four, verse number ten. Uh, for therefore we, or there, for, yeah, for therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God, who is the savior of some people. Uh, no, the savior of all men, especially those that believe. You have to believe to get saved. He's the savior of all men. You know, very very simple. It's just basic doctrine, but Calvinism perverts that. It perverts the grace of God and perverts the gospel. Calvinism is a false gospel. First John chapter two verse number two. 1 John 2, verse 2. And he is, a, he is a, sorry, he is a propitiation for our sins, but not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. He's, he died for the whole world. You know, John 3, 16, for, you know, for whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse number 14. 1 John 4, verse number 14. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of some people. Uh, no, the Savior of the world. Hmm. Again, the Savior of the world, who is who believeth on him. You know, he commands all men everywhere to repent. Calvinism is a false gospel. God wants everyone to be saved. It's that simple. Calvinism perverts, it, it basically turns God into basically a monster. It turns God into basically Satan who wants to damn people to hell. The God of Calvinism is a false god. Romans chapter 10, verse number 13. Here's a good one. And you have these hyper-dispensationalists, you have these Ed Fenninger uh, heretics who say that, oh, Romans 10 is not for people today. You know, <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, but Romans 10, 13 is a, and I've done, I've done videos refuting this thing of Romans 10 being a false gospel for today. Which is quite funny, funny well, a little bit of a side note on that. Ed Fenninger says, oh, salvation has always been the same. But then he says that Romans 10 is a gospel for the time of Jacob's trouble. So basically, that means that there's a different salvation in the time of Jacob's trouble? Hmm, interesting. So we're not calling on God for now to be saved, but we're calling on God in the time of Jacob's trouble to be saved. Um, that's dispensational salvation. You know, a little bit of a side note right there, but it's funny. I mean, Fenninger just contradicts himself so much. Romans 10, 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever. You know, it's that simple. Everyone can get saved. The God of Calvinism is a false God. Everyone can get saved. Whosoever. Now the last one I'm going to go to is John chapter 1 verse number 7. And the same came for witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might be, might, sorry, might believe. I read that wrong. I, I, I thought it said might be saved, but might believe. All men. You know, that's simple. So what the conclusion of this video is, is that the God that Calvinists worship is a false God because they believe in a God that is basically, that loves to damn people to hell. Now, obviously, God is righteous. You know, God God is a righteous judge. He will damn lost people. Like, for someone like Joseph Stalin or Adolf Hitler, yeah, I mean, they're, they're rightfully uh, judged. But um, God is not willing that any should perish. But that, that all should come, you know, I, I forget how the verse goes. But he wants all men to be saved. You know? So... And, and, and it's funny because Calvinists, they'll take scriptures where God, where it talks about God predestinating them and completely butcher the verses where it talks about God predestinating them. You know, ridiculous. I mean, there, there's studies on YouTube. I think uh, uh, Brian has a good study on that. Uh, pre, I think it's called Predestinated Not to Be a Calvinist. Uh, I don't agree with Brian on everything. I have I have disagreements with Brian on some issues. 
uh, mainly on the Christmas thing of celebrating Christmas. I, I personally don't believe we should be observing holy days. Galatians chapter 4, verse 9 to 10, and, and Colossians 2, 16 talk about, you know, like being in bondage, uh, what, when you observe special days, observing times and years. So I, I disagree with Brian on the thing of Christmas, but besides that, he is, he, he got, he has a good study on Calvinism, and he is sound in a lot of his doctrines. So yeah, if you want to see this thing of debunking this predestination type of thing, uh, look at the study called Predestinated Not to Be a Calvinist. But, uh, these are some of the my cat just started meowing. These are some of the many verses I could have gone to proving that Calvinism is a false gospel and that God wants all men to be saved. So we want to get that video out there. This is just again kind of a part two edit to my original video, just adding some scriptures I forgot to point in out in my last video. Kitty. My cat just roaming around. So anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.